Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be our view on the Rees, maybe Rees, rum enriched, basically a miniscar. It looks a bit more like a cigarol. It's towards the miniscar size. It's not labelled as either though, so we don't really know what it is. This is one of the scars that RJ sent me. Thanks for sending me that one, RJ. RJ the smoker. Um, this cost him 1.1 euros, 1 euro, 10 euro cents, I think, for five. So that's um, around about 22 euro cents each, which is very cheap. He bought it in Belgium. Can't really find much else. <coughs> Sorry, about the brand. I tried looking up, didn't really see much. Looking at it, very good. As I said, it's a bit more like a cigarillo. Um, yeah, kind of um, towards the darker side. A little bit of uh, vein folding there. Never really know. The plug, plug is very tight. Definitely a decent bit of glue up in there. The foot, the foot actually isn't that loose. Better than you would expect. And not a focus is not choosing to love us today. So, in terms of visible seams, there's barely much in the way of visible seams. What you'd expect from a typical machine rolled small cigar. The taper's okay. The taper's quite nice. Since this is my um, fourth take taking this um, taking this review, I'm not going to stop this one. But I already know what it smells like. It's um, kind of a bit like a nutty rum, I guess. More towards the uh, spiced, I guess. Not towards the white rum. Definitely not black rum. I'm guessing they just sort of made a generic kind of um, like a sweet rum flavor, I guess. A sweet alcohol flavor anyway. And they just said this smells a bit like rum, let's call it that. So... That's about all I can describe it as. It's um very nice sweet. I don't. It's um. If you were to picture a rum smelling cigar in your head, this would be it. You know, it's just like a bit of sweetness. It's not overpowering or anything. But yeah. It's just name to call it. It's not exactly as it smells. It's definitely got a taste of match. You definitely get a bit of that hint. It's just flavouring though, from what I know. Definitely very high packed. It's um just from the draw you can see it's medium to definitely high. From feeling it, the wrapper's a little bit flexible, so you can feel um it's definitely medium to large packed and medium to densely packed. Yeah. So um there's not really much cigars I've got to compare this to. It's let me just get a traditional um this is a Romeo and Juliet mini cigar. Just for size comparison. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger. That's why I probably classify it towards Cigarillo in terms of size and quality as well. That's why I probably classify it as that. So, let's uh, light this up and see what it tastes like. This match is going mental. Drop the hash on myself. Hope it didn't burn anything. The light lit pretty nicely. Lit just you know, just like a traditional mini, maybe towards the uh, the cafe creme kind of generic minis. Yeah, definitely towards medium. Um, you can probably tell by the smoke. Once again, I'm asked if I don't have a lighter. Um, I have at least 50 lighters. Um, if you saw my eBay purchase history, I would probably be watched by the CIA for being a bomber. But, no, I matches are much better for lighting cigars. Especially minis, I find them very efficient for minis. Let's get into more towards the taste of this now we've actually got it a bit started. Yeah. 
the um, general aroma. Uh, that's that's gone when you smoke it. What you end up with is something that's still very sweet. It is very sweet. It's a very sweet uh, light tobacco. It's um I would say there's the tiniest bit of spice on that, but it's still relatively sweet. It's not too much draw coming through that definitely because it's a high pack. I would say. The tobacco is burning quite nicely still. Decent bit of ash in there. Nope, just joked. <laughs> type of thing that ruins reviews. Not enough smoke to be doing that with. Definitely every um, 30 seconds I would average this puff up. Just judging by now, I would say this could probably last you 15 minutes. A little bit of a test of, you know, just general tobacco packing and stuff. Strength of the, um, this is very similar to what I had in the Paz Mini, the uh, strength of the ash. It might not hold itself together. I'm going to get an ash straight just to prevent the, um, what was it, Inca Secret Blend Agile Blue version. Definitely, um, towards a light Dutch. Definitely a sweet light Dutch. A little bit of spice in there for flavouring, I guess, but not really any bitterness in that. Um, if you've had David off minis, you would know what I'm talking about with this. It's uh, pretty much the same thing, a little bit sweeter, actually. Four twenty-two euro cents each, which is... As a, it's like 15 pence. Comparing this to my, um, I would say this is a little bit better than my current favourite Lopaz Paz Mini Wild. Especially for the um, the price being 15p compared to 55 I think it is. With the Plasmini Mini Wild. But just look at that ash. There we go. So overall, it's an, so far an extremely nice cigar. Uh, this is going to be one of the, uh, of course, towards one of the shorter videos because um, it is a mini cigar. But no, I think this could last quite a while if you're puffing at a normal rate. Again, I do actually smell these a little bit fast because of the videos, and I don't want them to, you know, drag on for a very long time. Definitely, um, definitely more towards a nutty spiced, very sweet like tobacco in there. As RJ says, he thinks Belgian prices are good and the cigar is a good price for the quality. Um, yeah, like, um, this is so unbelievably cheap. The, uh, cheapest mini cigar is the very generic moments in the UK, and that's about 35p. I would say this is the quality of a, you know, 60, 70p mini cigar in the UK. Getting it for 15p each, that is so ridiculously cheap.
the quality in this is very fantastic. It does feel, um, it is machine rolled, of course, but it does feel quite well to put together for that price. I mean, just in general. Um, for the mini scar, yeah. I'm still debating whether to call this a mini scar or a cigarillo. I would definitely go for the mini scar, though. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if it was labelled as a cigarillo. This one's quite fantastic. This thing is very nice. Medium to full body. Not particularly cool inhale, of course, it is a mini scar. You always end up with that with mini scars. However, some can be, you know, a bit better than others in terms of, you know, keeping the heat at bay, giving you a cooler smoke. This one, pretty average. I mean, I wouldn't really say there's anything too special about this. But it is a very nice, sweet tasting scar with a bit of its own unique flavour. And it's very cheap and very high quality, especially for the price. I actually think it's a decent long smoke in terms of, you know, not smoking as fast as I am. In terms of um, aroma pollution, to be honest, the place doesn't actually smell too bad. Um, very light, general sweet tobacco smell. I don't think it would really disturb many people smoking this around them. No more than maybe a few cigarettes. Maybe um after meal cigar. Maybe a quick cigar before you go to bed, I guess. In my case, I tend to have cigars like this, maybe mini cigars especially. You know, before I go to bed, I just have, you know, I just have one and relax for maybe 20 minutes, and then go to bed. I think this would be good, definitely a good place for that. If you get hold of these for that price again, I will probably swap RJ for some of them um, when he next goes to build them. And yeah, that's all good because these are very good. No, no smoke for that. Of course, getting towards the end, definitely um, kind of hot. I do have to address the live stream chat. Don't worry, I'm not ignoring you. Just gonna wait till I get in this review. And I think it's getting towards the end. Maybe a few more puffs. Minute at most. So let's um, sum up the end of the cigar. 
all the way through and through again the same thing you tend to get that thing with minis death gets hard towards the end because you know they're very small they tend to get quite hot in general in terms of taste though that did not affect the taste at all from start to end it's a consistent sweet cigar and it does have its own you know own unique taste definitely if I was to consider this a mini, which I am going to, it's a very special mini, and for the price you get in Belgium, it's so insanely cheap. I am going to rate this a solid 5 out of 5. Can't fault it. <laughs> Literally cannot fault this. Um, yeah, gonna have to go with that. So, very unique cigar, very good mini. Uh, definitely gonna get a hold of some more as soon as I can. And I hope you enjoyed this review. Definitely good, solid, good smoke. Thanks for watching, and yeah, I'm glad I managed to get this done in four takes. <laughs>